Narcissists will do anything at all to get that attention. They uh, could use manipulation tactics to try to get their needs met, very needy of attention, acceptance, approval. Sadly, attention-seeking is one of the least narcissistic traits that Johnny had to worry about. Narcissists are known to control their partners. Amber controlled Johnny so much, he felt like a kid under her. So at a certain point, what enters your mind is you start to slowly realize that you are in a relationship with your mother, in a sense. Narcissists also love to invalidate their partner's emotions, and they love to belittle them and make them feel small. According to Johnny, Amber often did that to him. She would say something. There would be these, these demeaning, berating insults. There would be these, these, these jabs. There would be anything to make me feel small and, uh, and like nothing. Amber would apparently take Johnny's insecurities and use it against him to break him down even more. Some people search for weaknesses in people and when you've told that person your your life um, and what you've lived through what you've been through the more that became uh, ammunition for Miss Heard to um, either verbally decimate me or send me into a, a kind of tailspin of confusion and depression and when we analyze their body language together at events we can see that Johnny did feel broken down by Amber here Johnny looks down and scratches at his chest in an almost self-soothing nervous gesture Amber on the other hand seems in charge and in control another typical narcissistic trait is for them to alienate you from your family according to Johnny Amber also tried to push him away from his own children and it almost worked my kids are far more intelligent than I am and they they broke they wouldn't be around Miss Heard any they refused to be around her <clears throat> anymore they didn't like uh, the way she uh, treated me luckily Johnny's kids seemingly saw right through Amber in 2016 Amber launched a massive case against Johnny she told the world how he mistreated her and how mean he was but now we are learning more and more that Amber was not the nicest person with him either. Well, it's, it's, it's not a happy day. It's not a happy week. It's not a happy month when you're constantly being told how wrong you are about this or that, what an idiot you are. The constant haranguing breaks you down. But during those court hearings, we find more clues in Amber's body language that she is a narcissist. The 2016 deposition was very serious, but watch Amber's complete disrespect for everyone. When you are looking around a room a lot while being spoken to, that shows a lack of interest in what's going on. Amber is showing quite clearly with her nonverbal communication that she doesn't want to be there. She has no interest in being there. That behavior is typical of a narcissist. And just to rub her disrespect for the lawyers in even more, watch what she does when asked a very, very serious question. In September of 2015, Johnny Depp in the face with a closed fist. Mm. That's right. Amber stuffs her face with food. All these clues in Amber's behavior and how she treated Johnny are all strong signs that she is a grandiose narcissist. But there are always two sides to each story. A clinical psychologist who closely worked with Amber highlighted that Amber's behavior and traits are also typical traits of two types of personality disorders. Externalization of blame, a tendency to be very self-righteous and to judge others, essentially to, to claim that one is... Uh, very non-judgmental and accepting and yet very full of rage really after hearing johnny's own side of the story and seeing all the clues in amber's behavior do you believe she really is a manipulating narcissist or is there a lot more to amber's story than we know